It is now my pleasure to bring forward a tremendous Democratic fighter, CPA from Long Island, former Assembly Speaker Pro Tem, member of the Board of Equalization, who started the fight for paid sick leave for every Californian, who started to bring the governor's high-speed rail to reality, who fought to ban toxic toys to protect our kids, who takes on all the fights that everybody says are impossible. For those of you who are joining us tonight at karaoke night, or for those of you who've heard her do karaoke, you know she's the best karaoke singer in the California Democratic Party, and she will be singing the impossible dream tonight as she leads the fight for California Democrats. Fiona Ma. Thank you, Eric Bauman. I expected a little more hazing, so I was gonna say, Eric Bauman, I didn't recognize you without five good-looking guys around you. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters and Democrats, I am so excited to be here to be on stage with you today. For the past 20 years, I have sat in those seats with you. And I know that each one of us has a great story to tell, a story of why we are Democrats. My story is like so many Americans. My parents were born in China and came to this country for a better life. My dad was an engineer, and my mother was a public school high school teacher. I am blessed that this country values immigrants, that we celebrate diversity and not fear it. California needs to remain a place of opportunity where we can all reach for our dreams. Like so many American immigrants, my parents stressed the importance of education and hard work. I was good at math, so I went to school and became a CPA. I took a job at one of the big eight accounting firms with the belief that if I worked hard, I could climb to the top. However, I learned that you could have that nice, fancy corner office, but it came with a glass ceiling. So I started my own CPA firm. A short while later, President Clinton invite me, invited me to the 1995 White House Conference on Small Business. And I was impressed that the President of the United States cared about small business owners. But I also realized that there are not a lot of people who look like me sitting at the table. With my newfound passion, I joined Senator John Burton's office. Now, 20 years later, my life has come full circle. I am honored to stand on this stage with my mentor and our chairman, John Burton. I get to put my CPA experience to work every day to make sure everyone pays their fair share of taxes so we could put more teachers in our public schools, more police and firefighters on the streets, and more nurses in our public hospitals. And lastly, I'm looking forward to electing another President Clinton. She is the most qualified presidential candidate in modern history. She was number one at Yale. She was the first lady. She was a US senator 
and the U.S. Secretary of State. As First Lady, she championed universal health care. As a U.S. Senator, she fought for our first defenders after 9-11. And as Secretary of State, she made sure that our Democratic Party's respect for women's rights and LGBT rights were exported around the world. Let's be honest. The Republicans have some interesting candidates. Let's see, there's Carly Fiorina, who moved thousands of jobs out of America and called it right-shoring. Well, I believe the right shore is the California coast. Oh, and let's not forget that Barbara Boxer did kick her butt. Then there's Jeb Bush. He's still looking for weapons of mass destruction. And Chris Christie can screw up our commute more than the Southern California rain. <laughs> Democrats, I can't wait to roll up my sleeves, put on my high heels, and knock on doors for Hillary. It is time for ovaries in the Oval Office. We cannot take our advances for granted. We cannot let the Republican Party roll back the clock. We all need access to health care. Thanks to President Obama, 16.4 million people are covered today through Obamacare, and they need to stay covered. The sad reality is that it's 2015, and we still don't have equal pay for equal work. And today, too many young women on our college campuses worry about being raped and having to defend their characters. And every woman in this country, every single one of us, can look to countries like India, Pakistan, Liberia, and Sri Lanka and wonder, how is it that those countries have elected women to the highest office, yet the best we've done here in America is Sarah Palin. Can we do better? How does it go again? You betcha. Ugh. And we will do better, because the women and men are counting on us. And now as a member of the State Board of Equalization, well, it's right there in the title, Equalizer. And that's what I intend to do. I got in the game and joined Dem 2016 yesterday, and you should all too. We need to double down on Susan Bonilla's Senate race next week. You can still go in phone bank and elect a champion for equality. Let's protect working people and reject attempts to demonize our union brothers and sisters. And next year, we will break the highest and hardest glass ceiling in the country and shatter it for good. And to the Koch brothers, you can spend your billions but you can't buy our hearts and minds. California Democrats, we lead by action. We get things done. Khaleesi is coming November 2016. Onward to victory. Join us at karaoke tonight. Thank you very much.